What is up guys, it's your boy Sparkrain, back at it again with another weekly Eververse video. And today, like I said, we're just going to show off more Eververse loot for the week. I'm a few days late with this, but I'm better late than ever, right? Anyways, at the time of recording this, I um, just ended my live stream, which, man, I didn't like how it took longer than... I hoped with the raid I've had way let I finished the raid way less time, much less amount of time anyways let's get right into the video all right so let's see what Tess Everest has for starters for 3250 bright dust we have the hack time emote which I actually like this emote and check it check it out Now that's a really awesome emote, actually. I might get it. Oh yeah, you know what? I might get this emote right now. For 2,000 Bright Dust, we have the Metropolitan Frigate, or as some of us like to call it, the X-Wing. As in the Star Wars Starfighter X-Wing. Which is really cool, actually. I mean, I think it's really cool, especially when you put on some shaders. I don't know about this one, but... Um, on my that I got from this week I put on the bloody tooth shader to give it that black and silver theme and it looks really awesome moving on for 450 we have the stasis entrance which as I've said before I'm not a big fan of transmat effects as for the shader, we have the Butterbark shader, which for which is 300 bright dust, and to be honest, I don't think I really like the shader, to be honest. I don't think I really like it that much. Moving on, we have the hard light shell for 2,850 bright dust, which it's okay. I mean, it's not the greatest. I've seen better. There, there's better ghost shows out there. We had the Lunatic's Legacy Sparrow, which eh, it's okay. It literally looks like sub one side of Sebulba's pod racer from Phantom Menace. It practically looks like his pod racer engine. Yeah, I'm not very big on this one. And this is for. 2500 bright dust I don't know I don't know anyways 2000 bright dust we have the rim skipper slaying ship which oh 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 no I don't think I really like that ship we have the ornaments for the hunter this week it's the mantle remembrance which, eh, I'm not very big on ornaments for the exotics. Study time emo for 700 bright dust, which, you want to look like you're saving your game in a Pokemon game? This is the emo for you. Ah, yes, 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 this, I'm saving my game, yes, yes. Closing the book. I've saved the game. Anyways, for the exotic weapon ornament for the outbreak perfected we have the mercurial affliction which it's cool but Looking i mean honestly the outbreak perfected already looks really awesome like it does not need ornaments in my opinion <sighs> another transmat effect for 450 bright dust i really don't like this one i don't moving on with the flare we have the hawk Hawk, Hawk History Polish for 300 Bright Dust, which it's not too bad. It's all right. The Celestial Dome, again, 300 Bright Dust. Ooh, this is not too bad. The Vertigris, Vertigree, Vertigree, Ver, uh, Vertigree, I think, for 300. Ooh, this one's cool. I actually like this shader. And lastly, with the shaders, the grayscale undergrowth, which, eh, 
Yeah, it's kind of ugly. All right, finishing off, we have more transmat effects. 450. We have the loot chest effects. Champion entrance. And heartbreaking entrance. Oh, boo hoo. <sighs> I'm not big on transmat effects, guys. Oh, we got an end reverse engram. Let's see what I get. Throwback to when I had that series row to light level 400, except we're not grinding for light levels in this case. The flaming arrow shell. Okay. Um, yeah, I've seen better. I've seen better ghost shells. Alright guys, that's it for this week. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Peace.